Hi, my name is Natalia and I'm coming to you from Denmark and this is my knitting podcast. Today I'm again using opportunity and making a video under my Christmas tree. Um, yeah, the weather isn't that the best. We had the snow last week, but now it's all gone and I'm trying to catch as much light as I can, but as you see, the room is quite dark, even though I'm sitting like a meter from a big window, but we're gonna do this as we can. So today, as always, I will start with what I'm wearing, then we'll talk about finished object. I have just one this week and then a couple of work in progress. So let's see. In the end, I will try to put some clips of what we was doing this week like a small vlog was but like nothing special I didn't have the chance to really record this week and all that so let's start what I'm wearing I'm done wearing any, any knitwear today so I decided just to throw some shawl before I start recording and um, this is shawl what is like I believe like that was my second Steven West shawl, what I knit. I really like this. It's an exploration station. Um, I will try to show how it look. It's quite old shawl in my collection. It's have these different shades of blue. This um, uh, blue color, it's some yarn what I over dyed, so I bought light blue yarn but i didn't really like the shade of that so i over dyed that and then um, to another this one like white with blue mm, i don't know if there are some section where i can show you this better this one maybe and uh, this one is actually a sweater that i'm knitting today also in this yarn so it's like have greenish and pinkish but it's completely melt here in this with this blue combination and it's look like blue here so yeah i believe there is the name for the yarn what i use on my ravelry page and you can always see this i like the shawl because it's easy to wear it has this crescent shape it's easy to wear and it uh, i like colors and it can match with many of my clothes so yeah, we will continue. That's what I'm wearing. About finished object, I have just one finished object and it's a pair of socks. Um, last time I recorded, I was showing you that I have one finished and one was in work. Um, I used the yarn what I hand dyed myself. So it was my first try to hand dyed self-striving yarn. And um, here I use like four colors, yellowish, orangey, reddish, and uh, I don't know, grayish, black colors. And that's how they turn out. I didn't try to match. I just start, I made them cuff down and I make them on my regular uh, sock stitch. So I need 56 stitches. So I cast on, 56 stitches then i work with german twisted cast on i really like it i saw it uh, on uh, andrea marley um, videos she was showing how to make it and that, that's click with me and i really like how it's look so i made i cast on 56 stitches like that then i worked in um i didn't move the end yet then I worked for 10 rows, one by one ribbon. Then I made 44 rows for leg. Then I made shadow row, short row heel, 50 rows for feet and then toe until I had um, 12 stitches on each needle. So 24 stitches and then I kitchener the toe. They didn't match, but I don't think you, someone will misthink that it's not the same, that they are not fair. So 
that one is ready i like them i still have stitch markers on when i was counting rows and marking them and i this is my leftover and i had 48 gram left so it will not be exactly the same pair but if you put if i will put contrasting color in i can easily get a pair of socks uh, out of this yarn so that's really nice to see and that's my first finished object from sock yarn what i dyed myself and yeah that feels kind of like cool <laughs> really like it but that's just one and only my finished object for this week um we get changes about covid restriction in denmark again and kids were sent home uh, earlier they was should be in so i've i'm home with my son and because he had birth he will have birthday at monday but because close uh, school closed earlier we was uh, supposed to make early birthday for him in school so we was a little in a rush so last week was quite busy with events and preparation so i didn't have a lot of knitting done but i finished this pair and i was working on my um one another socks again of again of the out of the yarn what i hand dyed myself and last week i showed you this sock it was already finished for this one i used five colors um these two grays look similar but I don't know if you can see the difference, but uh, the top one before the black stripe, it's more like um, blue gray and down it's like green gray. They are mixed like together. Um, yeah, for this one, I used like blue green and uh, black color and then I was mixing to get different grays. So this yarn is five color stripe, not four, but five. And I also really like how they look. Knit the same as previous pair, 56 stitches, um, cast on, then 10 rows of the one by one rib, 44 rows for the leg, shadow row, shadow show row heel, then um, 50 rows for the feet and um, top down to 24 stitches and then kitchen kitchener that together and again in my lately favorite bag for knitting i'm knitting on my second sock for that one and i'm in really um i don't know hard place to show what i'm knitting because i'm making the heel and i'm like almost down a couple of rows um to out of, to be done my son was i was going yesterday with my son because he was getting his first vaccination the, the, the denmark change rules about who should be vaccinated and when so now the group of kids um from five, five years are getting vaccinated so my son is eight now uh, so he was getting vaccinated yesterday and the line was really long they didn't expect this but i had my socks with so basically when we was going there by bus i still had a couple of rows uh, on the leg and during while we was there on the line i made almost through all heel i have like a couple of rows back so that was long and yeah the work heel for me take longer as just lack of food because there are short rows but i make almost through all so again i didn't try to match them but i'm sure they will look like a pair of socks no one will think that i'm just wearing random two socks <laughs> um yeah i think it will should take the same amount of the yarn that's the yarn what i have now and it's how it's look in a ball 
so that's my first work in progress and i hope that next time when we talk i already will finish this socks and will show how they look on this sock i am using the stitch marker with this snowman i got that uh, last year in a my advent calendar swap and I really like it so I'm using this around the Christmas time on my projects so yeah my socks going back to my favorite <laughs> sock bag but it's uh, really handy for me I can pop I don't have big bag what I'm using on my everyday and this one I easily can pop in that bag and still will be okay Yes, let's go. I don't have a lot of projects as I did before. Um, last time I was showing you that I'm working on a sweater and it's bottom up sweater with long splits. I will try to insert picture. I already <clears throat> was finishing the body of the sweater. So because it's bottom up and it have long sleeves, uh, long splits, on the sides so I knit it back knit it front to the moment when they get connected then I connect them in a round knit a couple of rows in a round and then I was making separation for the sleeves and I want this to be v-neck so I knit the back made all short rows for the shoulders then I knitted two fronts. Then I made, I decided to go with three needle bind off, making this inside to have like more structure here on the shoulder. I made all this, then I put it on and I understand that I'm not satisfied with the look and it's not look as I wish. So I look exactly what i don't like and uh, there was a problem that i think i made the sweater too short and i made the splits too deep so it wasn't holding the shape what i wished so i ripped all the fronts and the back um to separation and they um, rip even more out of separation and start to put body together earlier uh, but now I have I made the notes how I made um, top part before so I hope it will be easier for me now but now I just passed the point when I was splitting for the front and the back so I'm working on that part and dropping stitches okay i catch them so i don't know how to show you that right because it's really hard to show just look something like that you can see the hair split and i'm working now on the back you can see that it's bigger but basically that's all i will maybe try to insert the picture how that looked before but it was quite dark when i decided to rip it so i don't know how good you can see this but at least you can see the color now and who knows maybe next week i can finish this i hope to make back to the progress what i had before through the weekend and then i will just have a neck band and the sleeves uh, my biggest concern is that I will don't have enough yarn um, yeah when I finished body I used exactly two skins and I have just three and now because I decide to make the sweater longer I already use uh, to the point when I will be finishing with the body I will use more yarn as I had so I will have less than one skin for sleeves and the uh, neck band so it concerns me a little because uh, that yarn is discontinued I cannot get that again yeah uh, we can just hope 
because I don't want to add another colors or anything like this. If some, I can always make shorter sleeves, but we will go. So that's almost all for me today. I just have, uh, I just want to show my blanket and a little surprise. So about my blanket, I will try to insert the picture, how it look now. It's a couple of colors what I add this week. Yeah. With the size of a blanket what I have now, it's like almost there what I want, but a little not there. So with all work what I already put there, I don't want to just give up and do like I am finished now. So I put this recently on the my bed and where it's supposed to go in the end and I decide that I will put this row what I'm knitting now and then two on top so like three row um, on top and then I will add two more rows on the side and we'll call it the end um, I have hundreds and wool in. I started at one point, but it's maybe, I don't know, 7% of all. I wish to tell 10, but it's not even 10. And then after that, I want to make eye cord by Noft all over all, but um, there's no chance I can pick up the stitches and then go after this. Maybe, but I have no clue how much cables I should use for that uh, so I will probably will be just going I cord but I will picking up one stitches and then binding off this right away so I will probably have like um, I don't know three five stitches on the needle and then will be binding off and I didn't decide which color I want to use now for this but um, I hope to put plan and then finish this blanket next year with this like, I don't know, work one or two squares a day and then just finish this. I think the size will be nice if I will do three more rows on top and two on the side and then will be good. If you see the picture and think it will be good or not good, just tell me please. <laughs> yes, and as I told before, I have a little surprise. Lately I was dyeing the yarn and this is like two examples what I was doing. And now I have more than 500 subscribers on this channel. So I decided to make a giveaway and give my latest hand dyed experiment away to one of you. It's a hundred gram of sock wear yarn. It's super 75% uh, super wash merino and 25 nylon. And it's six stripes. It's had like, I think now it's like more true to the color. It has some green, blue and different shades of gray. So in two weeks, I will draw the winner. All what you want, need to do to win this, just drop a comment down below and put a like to this video and be subscriber. And then in two weeks, I will pull the number from comment and we'll send this yarn. That's all for me for today. I don't have much more to tell. The weather isn't that good now. We had the snow last week, but now it's all gone. And yeah, it's not look Christmassy <laughs> so much, but we hope it will go nice. I will try to put some pictures what we was doing this week in the end. It may be not much, but I will do my best. So I will see you next week. Hope you're all good and hope you have time for knitting. See you. Hi.